Just start canceled our flight. We're staying in St. Kilda Beach. One of our favorite travel hacks. Oregon Duck alum, Romeo Bandison. This is one of the best ones I've had. They'll swoop down and poke your eyes out. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? Five days ago, we were all packed up, headed to the airport, and just start canceled our flight. So we've spent the last five days here in Bali, supposedly paid for by the airline. We're packed up again, heading to the airport. We'll let you know how it works out. Jetstar continues to do great. Just got here, our flight's already been delayed. And this is the longest airport line we have stood in in years. All the way over there. More to follow. We asked about a refund. They said we had to talk to them when we get to Melbourne. Boy, it just keeps getting better. Looking more promising. So we nice made it back. back. <laughs> Hello, Australia. We made it to our Airbnb. It's nice. But it doesn't even have toilet paper. Now that that's done, it's time to explore Melbourne. Welcome to Melbourne, the capital city of Victoria. The city is home to over 5 million people and is consistently rated one of the most livable cities in the world. It's definitely one of our favorites. This time we're staying in St. Kilda Beach. In the past, St. Kilda had a well-earned reputation as a place to avoid, but that's all changed in recent years. It's now one of the hottest areas of the city. And twice a year, you can see the little penguins nesting under the pier. One of our favorite travel hacks in Melbourne is Costco. It's the best place for a budget lunch. Giant jars of peanut butter. And roasted chickens that are twice the size and half the price of any place else in town. These are amazing. If you haven't been to a public toilet in Australia, you are missing out. Welcome to Exo. Door one. Door one. Behind me just asked if those birds were real. We're wasting time with stuff. We definitely splurged on lodging this trip and got an apartment on the 21st floor of one of the tallest buildings in St. Kilda. Some of our favorite memories of this visit were just sitting on our balcony watching as life went by in the city below us. Nature's first green is gold, her heart is healed to hold. Oh god, if I'm reciting Robert Frost, it's definitely time to get on to the next day. Early the next morning. I'm just walking down the street in St. Kilda with my duck's hat on and find Oregon duck alum, Romeo Madison. Oh, please, smoke. Go Dutch. Go Dutch. Unbelievable. Oh, oh. I, got, I, got, I got almost stuck my hand, but <laughs> go Dutch. Go Dutch. Across the world, I'm so fired up. Best birthday present ever. <laughs> Happy birthday, man. Thank you. <laughs> Every Sunday we have the St. Kilda Esplanade Market. Hi guys, it's Tan and this is my artwork. Come to St. Kilda Market in Australia, Melbourne. Your donut that has nothing but sugar. My favorite. And it's gluten free. It's warm and crispy. Oh. The inside's nice and soft, and the outside has a little bit of crisp to it. Oh, that's a good donut. And that's a wrap on the market. <laughs> Just another gorgeous morning in Melbourne. The Australian magpie, one of the most dangerous birds in the world. They look cute and cuddly. If they get close to the nest, they will swoop down and poke your eyes out. And we'll leave you off this week with a couple of our favorite shots we took wandering around St. Kilda. See you next week. Keep drinking this coffee. Leave <laughs> the thumbs, thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>